why Manchester United must sign this central midfielder. Before the video starts, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you don't miss out on any of the content coming over the summer and give this video a like if you enjoy it. I've also put a quiz question in the comment section below, so go down there and see if you can get the answer right. Keep watching to the end to hear my verdict on who I think Manchester United will sign in central midfield by the end of the transfer window. Manchester United's central midfield problems were evident last season in terms of both their creative output and defensive contributions. United were over-relying on Pogba when it came to creating chances or advancing the attack into the final third. Pogba made 1.6 key passes per game last season, but Fred made only 0.7 per game, Matic 0.5 per game, and McTominay just 0.1 per game, showing that without Pogba in central midfield, United lack any sort of chance-creating ability from deep positions. Whilst Pogba made 1.7 dribbles per game last season, McTominay made 0.1, and Fred and Matic both made 0.6 per game, underlining the fact that United central midfielders cannot advance the attack via a dribble, nor do they have the vision or passing ability to create chances. United need to buy a central midfielder who can play in a 4-2-3-1 at the base of midfield or in a 4-3-3 as one of the two central midfielders advance ahead of the single double pivot alongside Paul Pogba. The player must be creative in terms of his ability to make key passes but also have the athleticism and tackling ability to break up attacks in the way that Matic and Fred struggle to do. The man that Solskjaer and the board should definitely make a move for is Danny Ceballos, the Real Madrid central midfielder. Sobias is similar to Luka Modric in the sense that he's an all-round central midfielder with the ability to play incisive passes, create chances, dribble past opponents and put in tackles to break up the play. At Real Madrid, Sobias hasn't featured regularly in the side since signing from Betis in 2017, making just 17 starts in two seasons. If we look back at Sobias' last full season, the 2016-17 La Liga season with Real Betis, you can see how good he is. That season he made 2.7 dribbles per game, which was the most of any central midfielder in the league and the fourth most of any player. He also racked up 1.3 key passes per game as well, which was the same amount as Modric created that season for Real Madrid. Ceballos also made 3.1 tackles per game and 1.9 interceptions per game that season, showing that he isn't just a creative central midfielder, but also one that could play in a midfield two or an aggressive pressing system, where the ability for central midfielders to win the ball back high up the pitch is invaluable. If you look at Fred Matic and McTominay, they aren't midfielders who can inject energy into the play with an explosive dribble in the same way that Ceballos can. If United signs Ceballos, he can play in a midfield double pivot in a 4-2-3-1 alongside Fred with Pogba ahead. United struggled in the build-up phase last season as Matic, when he received the ball, was often too laboured and slow in possession, which invited pressure high up the pitch, in turn leading to either a turnover of possession in the United defensive third or long aimless balls upfield. Sobias can receive the ball in these sorts of areas, facing his own goal, and turn quickly past pressure on attackers before driving out of the press with a powerful dribble. This is a much needed asset for United's midfield, as it would bring the best out of Pogba's ability to dribble through midfield and lead a quick transition and attack where he's at his best. This is because Sobias' dribbling would bypass the press, taking the opposition midfielders out of the game, and leaving space in central midfield where Pogba could receive the ball and create. Too often last season, Pogba was forced to play in front of the opposition's midfield in a deep line playmaker position. But he was at his best in a 4-2-3-1 when United would move the ball quickly and play a high-tempo counter-attacking style. Sobias would also bring the athleticism and tackling ability that Fred and Matic both lack. Both have a vulnerability when facing a one-on-one -on -one in central midfield, as Fred often dives in and gets beaten too easily, whereas Matic has a turning circle of a London bus and can't cover the ground to break up attacks in the same way that Fernandinho or Angolo Kante can. Sobias can cover the ground quickly, put in a tackle and read the game to make interceptions. To me, Sabat is one of the best young central midfielders in the world. He's versatile, can create chances, advance the attack via a dribble from deep, and can break up attacks in the way that most creative midfielders can't. He should be a priority sign in for Manchester as it looks like Madrid would be willing to sell the Spaniard for around £40 million, which is a fantastic price for a 22-year-old midfielder who is good enough to play at most top clubs in Europe. Despite this seeming like an obvious signing for United, I don't see it happening, as United haven't been linked with him at all over the summer, and usually if they're after someone, the press and everybody else knows about it. I think Longstaff and another central midfielder like a Bruno Fernandes or James Madison, who play a bit higher up the pitch, will be the only signings that Manchester United make this summer, which to me would show a poor summer of recruitment. Thank you for watching, remember to like and share the video if you enjoy it, and subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you don't miss out on any of the content coming over the summer. Also check out the quiz question in the comment section below, and put your thoughts on whether Sobios would be a good signing for Manchester United.